welcome back to my channel and to another get ready with me so if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while first of all congratulations um, second of all you will know that last year I did a get ready with me video for a boat party that I went to well this year I went to the same event and I decided since it's such a dressed up fun occasion I should do another get ready with me and obviously my style has evolved massively since last year it's crazy looking back at that video and seeing you know, the long really dark hair and just I don't know I know that was because I know it was before the whole like vintage style transformation I guess and it just it's really fond and weird to look back on and see how that was only a year ago. I've digressed massively but anyway today's video is a get ready with me in a kind of Gatsby girl style. I went for really pretty um um curls to most of them wearing today. That's also partly why I'm filming this intro because my set came out and I kind of wanted footage of it. Um, but also worth noting is that in the video I have the very bottom layers all pinned up to make my hair appear shorter. Um, and a beautiful halo smoky eye, gorgeous glamorous deep makeup and a really pretty dress. And I don't think you can get the exact dress I wore anymore because my mum got it for me a few years ago from Lindy Bop. I will try and find a similar dress and I will link that in the description down below. So I really really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to follow me on Twitter at the Vintage Darling and follow me on Instagram at a very vintage darling. I will leave them here. I will leave them in the description box. Subscribe to this channel if you enjoy. And that is all. I will stop blabbering and allow you to watch the makeup. Okay, so as I mentioned, I have my hair all in a set and I have two wave clips keeping my hair out of my face as well as forming the waves I want to frame my face. And I'm using my all-time favorite foundation, Lancome's Tanny Doll. I wanted something that would give good coverage and last all, all night through rain or whatever happened because it was thunderstorming all that day, but miraculously didn't rain while we were on the boat, thank goodness. But this foundation has great coverage, it lasts for a really long time, and it gives a great natural skin finish, so I would highly recommend it, or just finding a foundation that best suits your skin type. And then to blend it in, I'm using a flat top brush and then going over and dabbing off any excess with a sponge, and I just got this from Superdrug, it was super cheap. Then of course you need to prime your eyes for all of the heavy shadow work we'll be doing later. And that starts with the Too Faced Natural Love Palette in the shade Heaven, which is a light vanilla, which is going all over my lid and onto my crease and brow bone. Then, to give a little bit of dimension and to help blend out the darker shades, I'm using Honeymoon, which is a kind of warm, rosy, golden colour, um, into my crease. This will make the darker shades not look as stark because they have something to fade out into and just give a bit of warmth to the eye overall. Now we're starting with the fun part. So I took Night Fever, which is a very, very dark gray with subtle golden sparkle in it, not quite black. And I'm using this on the outer third of my eyelid, pulling it into the crease with a precise brush and then taking Night Fever and Don't Settle, which is a dark metallic gray, and applying in the inner corner. We're leaving a blank space in the center of our lid that we're gonna fill in later, but this halo look will give you a 20s look because you still have that darkness. You're bringing it into the crease, which gives a very rounded shape to the eye, which is very 1920s as well. But you have a pop on the center of the lid, which we will add later. And you can see a bit more in detail what I'm doing here. I kept the footage a bit slower so that you can see the steps and see the kind of thirds rule that I'm using. With dark colors, please start with less and build up. <laughs> It's going to make your life a whole lot easier. There's nothing worse than putting on too much dark shadow and then not being able to correct it. And the fun thing is that you can do this technique with any colours that you feel like. Then for the center of my lid, I'm using a mix of Moonbeam, which is a really cool metallic gold and silvery colour, and Fairy Tale, which is a sparkling kind of yellowish gold more than anything these looked really gorgeous they match my dress and they really really caught the light and lasted all night i'm taking a blending brush and blending out the very edges of that line we drew in the crease just to make it a little bit softer and then i'm going with don't settle which is a dark gray again oh no smoking sorry smoking if you have that palette 
And for my brows, I was super lazy. I just brushed them out with clear mascara. If I wanted to be super authentic, I would have filled them in and made them a lot longer and thinner, but no. <laughs> and I'm using um, Moonbeam um, again on the inner corner of my eyes and heavily on the brow bone for a nice golden sparkle, which I think looked so pretty and really catches the light beautifully. How gorgeous is this eyeshadow look? I was so happy with how simple it was, yet how effective, and it really brought out my eyes in photos. Then I'm using um, Super Cat Liner by Soap and Glory to create the thinnest line possible on my upper lash line and I'm not even winging it out I'm just stopping at the end of the lash line to just bring some focus to the eye of course curl your lashes and then I use Too Faced good old better than sex mascara which I have a tester of this stuff is amazing I so recommend it if you can get your hands on it for big fluttery lashes and now to make sure that your smoky eye doesn't lead to zombie eye bags I'm using concealer under my eyes around the sides of my nose on my chin and forehead to keep those areas bright more than to do much highlighting and blending that out with the same brush I used to blend out my foundation. Using Too Faced Hangover Setting Spray and going in with my favourite Besame Violet Brightening Powder. I have a first impressions of this on my channel if you want to see and applying this, well you can see where I'm applying it to brighten and set those areas and oh boy my makeup did not move and then I'm contouring just the tip and sides of my nose with a little bit of bronzer this is from the Too Faced natural face palette and then applying a golden highlight on the bridge and tip of my nose and now for that gorgeous 20s lip and I totally missed all of the application process because I had covered my lips with my mirror and not realized but I'm basically doing a very rounded cupid's bow round bottom lip for a kind of bee stung 20s look and this is a gorgeous gorgeous color it's from 1935 but I think it totally works for a flapper inspired look it still gives off a vintage vibe no matter what to keep my lipstick in place, I recommend blotting and then placing a tissue over your lips and going over with powder. This is how I make my Besame lipsticks and any lipstick last all day and all night long. Then for the final glowing 20s look, we're going for a bold pink blusher. This is Pink Wink by Too Faced and this blush is infused with coconut butter and smells amazing. So I'm applying this possibly quite heavily on my cheeks but I loved how it looked and then applying a golden highlighter to my cheekbones to bring that life and just party sparkle to the face and it matches the gold we have on the center of our lid and on our brow bone and I'm also placing this above my eyebrows then we can take out our lovely wave clips admire our waves and get ready 